Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to video two of my Morphine Week. Uh, today I said I would go over the rig that I used when we played out live. Um, I got it kind of partially set up. And uh, let's go through it. I'll show you. First, first thing though, uh, just like when I was telling you about when I was setting up the base and trying to, trying to find stuff online about Mark's base and how he did all his stuff, um, the same went for Mark's rig. I know he ran his base through an Electro Harmonics Micro Synth. I know that. Uh, I've been trying to find one that I can afford, I like use, but I haven't. They're pretty expensive. Anyway, uh, someday I'll find one. Um, I know he did that, and I know he played through um, Ampeg SBT amps, and that's pretty much all I know. But I, I have seen pictures, and I have seen live videos when he's playing through like a, like a Marshall like JCM head through some cab, so it's possible that he also went through a guitar amp. But, best kept secrets. Okay, so this is the board that I would use for Care for Pain. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos or seen any of the photos on my Facebook, you will recognize this as my acoustic live board, which is true, um, except I added a tube screamer and a boost for the bass, because the bass has a really low output, so that really helped push it through the amp. Um, Why am I using the acoustic board? Well, for one, it's got the super octave that um, I use with the acoustic to, to play some bass lines, but I really crank it up with uh, the morphine stuff because it really gives it a good low end. Because this is technically not a bass. Um, it just helps to, to fill out the sound. Also, when we were doing Cure for Pain shows, uh, we always started the night off with um, some regular covers and stuff that we play, so I, I was playing the acoustic. And it just made it easier to go through all one board instead of like swapping out the acoustic board and then bringing in the morphine stuff. Um, even though I do love pedals and having pedal boards, which you all know if you follow the videos. Anyway, um, this is how I stack the amplifiers. I put the bass on the bottom and I always brought my acoustic amp to put on top so we could do uh, back and forth between different styles. All right, so let's try it out. So this is going through the board. Uh, this is going through um, going through the bo the boss super octave and going through the boost pedal, and uh, this is mainly the the clean sound that we uh, we normally played all the morphing stuff with, and it's it's as close as I can get to saying man. So here we go. <laughs> So that was pretty much the clean sound, right? Which is like most of the same. Mm. So that was a clean signal. So then I would kick on the tube screamer because if we were playing um, 
we would kind of rock out a little bit and we would do some solos and I would let Brian go on the saxophone and uh, it just added a little dirt, made it a little more interesting. And Sandman did use some dirt on a, a couple songs. Um, I don't know, it was just fun. We were just kicking off with something like Have a Lucky Day. <laughs> had a lot of fun with it. That's pretty much it for the rig. It's simple. But there are key there are key things, just like when we were talking about setting up the bass, there are key things that I had to incorporate that really got the sound. Um, definitely going through the uh, the bass pedal helped a lot. And I also have a, a bullet a bullet mic that Sam Ann sings out of. It's it's being repaired right now. It's, I don't have it with me but I don't know. We just have fun with it. And uh, it definitely took me a, a very considerable amount of time to learn how Sandman played and to get his style down and kind of figure out where he was going. Um, with it being two strings and a slide, it seems like it would be really easy, but it was really, it turned out to be kind of difficult for me to figure out what he was doing. But uh, once you learn his basic style, it was kind of just all fell into place and we kind of all melded as a group and figured it out. <laughs> Anyway, so that's part two of um, my morphine extravaganza. Um, yeah, so tomorrow Jason's going to come up. We're going to play some tunes and uh, talk a little bit about our love for the band and how we formed our tribute band. And that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.